Call of Duty is one of the most successful franchises in gaming history. Every November, the latest Call of Duty is guaranteed to top sales charts on every platform. Several titles have even broken the 30 million sales mark, such as the original Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3 and 2019's Modern Warfare Reboot. But no game in the franchise has come close to the 40 million copies and counting of Human Fall Flat. This is the story of how a game made by a single developer became one of the best-selling games of all time. When Thomas Sakalauskas started work on Human Fall Flat, he knew it would be his last chance to realize his childhood dream. He had given up a lucrative career in IT to become a game developer. Sakalauskas started by setting up a mobile studio to develop a free-to-play racing game. That didn't work out. After a few years, he ran out of money and was forced to close the studio. But the Lithuanian developer did not give up on his dream. Instead, he put his last savings into creating Human Fall Flat. This decision would soon prove to be a very risky one. While developing Human Fall Flat, I was really low on personal finances. Before I started receiving the first checks from game sales, I think I had 1000 euros across all my accounts. That's quite dangerous, given that I have 3 kids to support and a mortgage to pay. A lot was riding on the success of Human Fall Flat. If the game flopped, Sakalauskas would be forced to give up and return to his career in IT. The project began as a puzzle game. Sakalauskas was particularly inspired by the way Valve designed the puzzles in Portal and Portal 2. He wanted to combine that with the physicality of the player character from Playdead's platformer Limbo. It soon became clear that Human Fall Flat would be much more than that. Due to its two-dimensional perspective, Limbo is a very focused puzzle experience. It has a linear campaign that can be completed in 3 to 4 hours. To beat the game, you have to move to the right, and the only things standing in your way are, well, the puzzle. Human Fall Flat started out the same way, but Sakalauska's decision to make a game in 3D opened up a world of possibilities. When the developer let his son play the game, he discovered that he would deliberately skip the puzzles by parkouring around them. It was a revelation, seeing how much fun his son was having deliberately breaking the puzzles he had so carefully designed, Sakalauskas lost interest in making just a puzzle game. Instead, he would turn Human Fall Flat into a full-fledged physics sandbox. Making this sandbox fun was Sakalauskas' top priority. Not long after he started working on the free-to-play racing game, he realized that in order to make his game profitable, he would have to start studying psychology and analytics instead of game design. And that particular business model never sat quite right with him. I decided, if it was down to these ethics, I should be selling drugs instead of making free-to-play games. I didn't want to go that way. Essentially, you're trying to say, look, this is free, but actually it's not. It just doesn't feel right. I wanted to make premium games, which is why I went to PC. So he finished a prototype of Human Fall Flat on PC and released it on the indie game store itch.io. He realized that this release was only the beginning. Itch.io features hundreds of thousands of indie games, and the graphics of Human Fall Flat weren't particularly eye-catching. So to get the game noticed, he started reaching out to influencers, specifically YouTubers. Not the big names, but the smaller ones, those with 100 subscribers or less. According to Sakalauskas, the core of good game design is incorporating feedback from playtesters, and he couldn't afford those, so he relied on content creators. It was a win-win. Streamers and YouTubers got a new game to play, while he got the playtesters he so desperately needed. The game's popularity snowballed from there. Bigger and bigger content creators started picking up the game. Viewers left so many comments begging Sakalauskas to release the game on Steam that he decided to go for it. Human Fall Flat quickly reached 10,000 sales, enough money for the developer to keep working on the game based on community feedback. A few weeks after version 1.0, Sakalauskas released his first big update, adding workshop support that further increased the game's popularity. But there was one particular feature that many in the community were begging for multiplayer. More specifically, online multiplayer. The game featured couch co-op at launch, but Sakalauskas had deliberately ignored implementing online features. He felt it would be impossible, due to the complex physics that are an integral part of the game. Community wasn't so easily discouraged. Hardcore fans of Human Fall Flat wanted online multiplayer so badly that they were determined to prove it was possible. A YouTuber finally convinced Sakalauskas that it was. He had set up an intercontinental co-op game where the host PC 
takes care of the entire game and the other players simply stream the game to their PCs. This is similar to how software like Parsec or Steam's own Remote Play Together works. This method still had problems. Streaming video is very banned with Hungary and the latency, while not game breaking, was annoying. But Sakalauskas was convinced and spent the next 6 months implementing the feature. He originally aimed to support up to 6 players, but his final implementation was so efficient that he easily increased the capacity to 8. After releasing a public alpha in August 2017, the finished multiplayer update went live in October of that year. The community was ecstatic and sales went through the roof. The game reached its first million in sales not long after. Console releases pushed the game even further up the charts and by mid-2018 the game had sold 4 million copies. 4 million copies is a milestone not many indie games reach, but that was just the beginning of Human Fall Flat's record-breaking sales. The game is one of the best-selling video games of all time thanks to one country, China. In 2019, publisher Curve Digital decided to bring Human Fall Flat to the Chinese market, aiming for a Chinese release on Steam and smartphones. Not an easy task, as China is notorious for its strict regulation of video games. For a game to be available in the country, the developer must work with the Chinese publisher and the game itself must be approved by the government. These approvals are granted sparingly, with only a few hundred games approved each year. This means that the vast majority of games will never be available to China's 1.4 billion people. Fortunately, Human Fall Flat was approved. Its Chinese release became a smash hit as one of the launch titles of the Chinese Steam Store. By 2021, 60% of the total player base of the game on PC was Chinese. But the real sales breakthrough came with a mobile release. The publisher's decision to price the game at only 12 yuan, about $1.60, proved to be a wise one. The game sold over 100,000 copies in the first 30 minutes after its release on Chinese app stores in December 2020. Six days later, it had sold over 2 million copies. Sales only increased from there. By February 2021, Human Fall Flat had been purchased 25 million times. Four months later, it had sold 30 million copies, and by March 2023 that number had risen to over 40 million copies sold, cementing it as one of the best-selling games of all time. Thomas Sakalauskas believes he had a leg up on other indie games because he had experience as a mobile developer before he started working on Human Fall Flat, and because his idea of a 3D physics sandbox was a fairly unique concept for a video game. According to publisher Curve Digital, Human Fall Flat owes its immense success to its community support, in particular the way the game allows 8 players to play together in a cooperative way. In other words, while most developers want to create the main game in people's lives, the game that people want to get good at, Human Fall Flat became a success precisely because it is not that game. Instead, it complements the League of Legends, PUBGs and Fortnites of the world, allowing players to relax with their friends after a competitive session of whatever their main game may be. The Lithuanian developer himself hasn't lost his humility, even after achieving sales figures he couldn't even have dreamed of. After all, he admits that success as a game developer comes down to one thing. The only way a small developer can make something that stands up is to make it a really unique experience. I was playtesting and retooling it to make it fun to play. Of course, that doesn't guarantee anything. All you can do as a game developer is essentially buy a lottery ticket. Your chances are based on luck. Will it go big or not? You never know. Human Fall Flat was made in the Unity engine. Watch this video if you want to know how that company turned from the hero of indie game devs into their villain. And don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the Indie Game Oasis if you want to know more about the fascinating world of indie games. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.